America's Got Talent airs Tuesdays at 8 Eastern on NBC. Season 18 premiered last week. You can watch it on Peacock, which is available right here on Roku. And Terry Crews back here on the program. And we just showed for our radio audience a uh, uh, a wild clip of two guys uh, one guy climbing a ladder with and another a, guy balanced on his head on his head head to head head so when I see stuff like that I'm wondering to myself how do they learn they have this talent well, right for, first like, of all they're from places that have no phones okay because <laughs> you need a level of concentration and focus you know can you imagine you get a TikTok ding and it's like uh, you never get good at something like that you know what I mean like, or oh man I, hold on I'll be right there just wait wait one second uh, you know, that's the thing. Uh, you know, Americans were too distracted to do things that good. You know what I mean? You got to have no Wi-Fi at all. <laughs> well, you're totally bored and you're just sitting around saying, you know what? I'm going to climb this ladder. And the friend's like, you know what? I'm going to go on top of your head with my head. Let's see how far you can go. How about that? And I'll be upside down and you be right side up. And let's go up the ladder. And it's funny. I asked you a question uh, about do you know what's coming when you're on the air? And, and I feel foolish asking that question because I get that when I'm, like, say, hosting an NFL draft. Do you Are you told the draft picks before they're on the air? And we're like, no, because we want our natural reaction. Yep to be on camera so the person at home who has a similar reaction feels a connection to those who are hosting it or judging it on the air. Absolutely. And that's what's the beautiful thing of your show. No, you know? it, it, it is. It's lovely. And I can't wait till we go live. You know, first of all, you know, being a former ball player, you know, and my time in the NFL, I loved the fact that anything can happen. And, you know, actually doing the live shows, we're going to do those in August, that really has supplanted my NFL thing, you know, because it's like the ball can go anywhere and you see anything happening. And it's just, it's the mistakes that people love. If everything goes perfect, it's yes. kind of boring. You right. know what I mean? Of course. And so let's talk about that a little bit here, your your NFL career, because it's kind of forgotten, to be honest with you, Terry. And it's not because you didn't achieve anything in the NFL. You played for, for several years. It's because of how successful you've become in your in your endeavor. Who was your – you were the, an 11th round pick <laughs> out of Western Michigan by the Los Angeles Rams in their first go-around? That's right. So who, where were you on a draft day, and who would you get a phone call well, from? First of or? all, I got to tell you, uh, I was very arrogant as a kid, and I had a big party. Um, and I'm like, I'm going to get drafted probably like fourth round, third round, and then mm -hmm. – the, then first, second, third round, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. <laughs> all of a sudden, everybody goes home. I'm sitting there like, wait a minute, what just happened? We go into the next day, mm -hmm. and it's like 3 p.m. the next day. I'm like, I didn't get drafted. What the hey, man? This is over. And my wife was like, hey, put your get your chin up. It doesn't matter what happens. If you go in there as a free agent, it doesn't matter. You're going you're gonna to do this. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And I'm wiping tears. <laughs> and I got a phone call. And I did not realize that the draft wasn't over. And it was from Ronnie Jones, the linebacker coach for the L.A. Rams. Uh -huh. He's like, we just drafted you in the 11th round. Here I was. I thought it was over. You thought it was toast. And it wasn't. So there I was. I was so happy. Now, they even have 11 rounds now. Like, no, Of course not. No, it goes to know. the seventh <laughs> round. And, you know, you would have been an undrafted free agent. Exactly. So who was your coach? Who was the head coach? Uh, I was under John Robinson. John Robinson. The John Robinson. The John Robinson. Oh, man. Jim Everett. Uh, I was back up to Kevin Green, um, which was, it was an amazing thing. Jackie Slater was sitting there, one of the all time greatest tackles to ever play the game. And humans. Yeah, and humans. I mean, just incredible people, man. Walking in mm -hmm. that locker room, I was just like, oh, my God. I get goosebumps thinking about it right now because to imagine, it's like walking into. Watching a the, a big giant movie and you're walking in and you're starring in it, mm -hmm. um, and it was incredible, man. All the personalities, it was really really fun. Did were you teammates of Jim Everett when he went after Jim Rome? Yeah, TV? I was there at that time. I, I wasn't th at the you play, there but the I studio. remember coming. He coming back in the locker room, and it made Jim Rome who he was. You know, <laughs> Jim even says now, like I, I didn't want to be known for that, but right. all of a sudden everybody knew who his name was. <laughs> They were like, he called him Chris Ever, and it, Jim had enough. It was like, kah, kah, kah. you're right. And he came back in the oh, locker room. And the next nobody thing. even addressed it in the locker room. I remember everybody was just kind of whispering and looking, and, yeah. and Jim came in, and it was like, it was different. 
Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.